Hi, Professor. I am Miranda. I'm going to be answering the four questions for you. Please excuse my voice. I have a bit of a slight fever. I'm getting over a fever, and but I have a really bad cold. So here's question number one. Identify the risk factors confronting ESPN and rank how serious they are. The first risk factor is the criticism it is getting from cable, DPS, television. The subscription fees is five times higher than any other national cable network. This is ranked high because ESPN is a televised program. This is how it is being, being seen about 90% of the time by many people. The second risk factor is a rating on ESPN have declined 32% because of the competition it has with other sport networks such as Fox Sports 1 and NBCSN. This is ranked second on seriousness because of the competition. Right, um, right fees have also increased and rights agreements have gotten longer. This is ranked third because it is not a major concern. Websites have also become a problem for ESPN because of the instant streaming it, it has done to provide sports information. This is ranked fourth because it is still at risk but not as major as the first two. Question two, identify one or more business activity that ESPN currently engages and that it should eliminate or modify. One current business activity that ESPN is currently engaged in in a big part of the cable television situation. Um, the bundling of channels um, needs to be more modified and have a deal where everyone is satisfied with and able and are able to still be on cable networks and that are not too much pricey for us. Another business activity is opening up a new digital production company. This should eliminate they should eliminate this because it would be a waste of money for us. Um, question three, identify one or more business activities that ESPN currently is not engaged in and that it should adopt. ESPN is not part or currently engaged in, in this online electronic media and should adopt this method because it would get more playtime. It will be able, it will be available to everyone in the palm of their hands. They would be able to download an app and show any sports coverage around the world and it may possibly even increase the rating for ESPN. Um, ESPN should also adopt more social media access um, because now in this day and age, you know, everybody has a social media and Everyone is on social media, so this would be a good way to promote ESPN. Um, question four, how should ESPN argue against attempt by Congress to modify its pricing structure and buttonly policy? ESPN needs to argue that the pricing structure needs to be appropriate in order for a fair competition. Negotiations with networks need to be done so that both the cable and network get what they want. They should also argue that they have been in business for almost 40 years, therefore they should not have to change much around in their business. Thank you so much.